Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Joelle and I resell on the platforms Poshmark, Mercari, and Instagram. And today I have a thread up shoe rescue box. I got 15 pairs for $80 and that does include shipping. Uh, this box is a little bit smaller than usual, but it's really heavy. So hopefully the shoes are not too damaged. And this came from Pennsylvania. So Pennsylvania has historically been a good box. They have yet to disappoint me. So we are just going to get right to it. Okay, first up, we have a pair of white pointed toe pumps. The brand is Shoe Republic LA. Um, I've never heard of this. They don't feel like anything too special. The soles look good, but there is some wear on that pointed toe and some wear on this white faux leather. So I'm gonna look up the brand. I don't like redonating shoes. So if I could get 10 to 15 bucks out of this, then I will list them. Next up, we have some Cole Haan wedges. They're a very, very short heel, just a nice gray flat. There is some wear on the leather, but these soles are in awesome condition. So I need to get some type of leather conditioner because uh, I know that that can work wonders. So maybe this is the perfect time to get some. I'm not disappointed. Cole Haan does really well for me in my closet. Next up are some very high heels. These are Gianni Binney. Gianni Binney is sold at Dillard's. It's actually a decent selling brand on Poshmark. Um, I could probably list these for about $40. There might be some wear around the ankle, but that also might be intentional. But it's this beautiful peach color. The soles look awesome. Yeah, I think I could get $20 or $25 for these. Next up is a pair of heels. They're nine west, so nothing special. Uh, they're definitely misshapen. There is no protective packaging in this box. And so all of these shoes are jam packed in there, but I could reshape these really easily. Uh, these shoes are in excellent condition too. The soles look great. So that is a common trend for the shoes so far. Again, nine west is nothing special, but if I could get 10 or $15 for me, I will consider that a win. Next up, it looks like we have another pair of wedges. It is CL by Laundry. I'm pretty sure that is the lower end brand of Chinese laundry. These are in good condition. Um, I've never sold this brand. I've never sold Chinese laundry in general, so I don't know how it does. I do know you can find this at stores like TJ Maxx a lot though, so the resale value might not be the best. But again, these are in excellent condition. I don't know if these have ever been worn, so maybe I can get 10 to 15 bucks. Looks like we have some tennis shoes. Okay, we have some Asics. I have hardly ever gotten tennis shoes in thread up boxes, but I've always preferred to sell tennis shoes over any other type of shoe. I think people are just more willing to pay up for a pair of good running shoes like Asics because they're gonna be wearing them a lot. And these are in excellent condition. So I don't really know what the resale value on Asics is, but I would assume I could get maybe 40 or 50 bucks for these. So while they are nothing super special, this is the best pair of shoes I've seen so far. Okay, we have more sneakers. The brand, I do not know how to pronounce this. It's Aless, Alessi. Here it is. I see this brand. I couldn't tell you what these shoes retail for. They're in pretty good condition though. They could honestly just use a good magic eraser scrub and the soles are in good condition. So I'll have to look up comps. Again, I don't know a lot about this brand. I see it all the time in stores. I just never really look at the prices. So we will see how much I can get for these. Okay, we have more sneakers. I like this. The brand is Kanas. I have never heard of this. These are tiny, they're size six. Here is the brand. Hopefully the camera will capture that. I have never heard of this brand though. It says they are made in Colombia. Uh, definitely in used condition, but like the shoes before, I could probably scrub a magic eraser over these and they would get cleaned up pretty well. If you know anything about this brand, please let me know in the comments. Again, it is Connus. Who knows, these could be something good. Next up is a pair of ankle booties. The brand is, oh, Blondo. Okay, Blondo is sold at Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack. I have heard from a lot of resellers that this brand has a pretty good resale value. These probably retail for maybe 120. Don't take my word for that. I don't know a ton about this brand, but I have seen it before and I've considered picking it up at Nordstrom Rack. I'm just way too scared to spend the money on it. These feel like suede and they're in pretty good condition. There's just some wear on the toe, but it's hard to tell and the soles look great. Okay, I am happy about these. Maybe I can get 30 or 
All right, another pair of sneakers. Oh, they're rag and bone. Just some plain black rag and bone sneakers. I like how it has the label on the outside. It's pretty cool. I know rag and bone clothing can move kind of slow. I'm not sure about the shoes though. So if you sell any rag and bone, I'd love to hear your experience with it because these are in pretty decent condition. Like these other shoes, the soles look great. Um, there's just some creasing on the toe. I have high hopes for these though. I will do a little bit of research and hopefully I can get a good profit. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, um, not an exciting pair. They are a pair of Calvin Klein flats in decent condition. Um, I just know that Calvin Klein does not sell very well. Like I said earlier, I'm not a big fan of redonating shoes. So shoes are really easy to photograph. Um, listing these would take maybe two or three minutes. And so if I could get 10 or $15 for these, I would be happy with that. I see no flaws. These show very minimal sign of wear. So I think they're sellable. All right, looks like we have a pair of boots. <gasps> they're fry. I have always wanted to get fry in a thread up box. Okay, they are not in the best condition. Um, they have some scratches on the toe. These are really cute though. Just a nice short pair of brown ankle boots. Honestly, the soles look awesome. Um, they're really just misshapen and creased, but I can definitely do something about that. Like I said, I have never gotten Fry before in a thread up box and I've also never seen them at thrift stores that I go to. So I have zero experience selling boots. I do know though that Fry is one of those brands that even if you have some shoes that aren't in the best condition, they're still gonna sell for a pretty good profit. So I don't know how much I could get for these, but they are for sure worth listing and they will sell. I have a few more pairs of shoes to unbox, but I am very happy with those boots. Okay, next up, Kind of hard to top the fry boots. They are Easy Spirit flats. I see Easy Spirit at the thrift store all the time. Um, these are nothing special, but it does look like they've never been worn. The soles look great. The faux leather looks good. So could probably get 10 or $15 for these. We have two more pairs of shoes. Before I unbox them, I ask that if you like this type of reseller content, um, any type of thread up boxes or tips and tricks for selling online. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I am doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. I am about 50 subscribers away from that. So it is definitely approaching soon. And it will be coordinated with my Instagram thrift page, which is also Closet by Joelle. And I have it linked below in all of my videos. So on that page, I will sell a little bit more one of a kind items at really, really low cost. So it is a bidding process and my starting bids range anywhere between five and usually $12. So obviously I sell on Poshmark and I will sell a lot more of my higher end items, but Instagram is where you go for more of those unique and vintage pieces. So go ahead and give me a follow on my Instagram and you can stay up to date with that giveaway. All right, now we will get back to unboxing. It looks like we have a pair of sandals. The brand is Impo. Um, I don't think Impo is anything special. They are in really good condition though. So the soles look good. Um, I might try to take these to a buy sell trade store. I'm not sure if they would accept them, but it's definitely worth a shot. And if they don't, I wouldn't mind listing these on Poshmark because again, they're in pretty good condition. They are memory foam. So probably a very comfortable pair of sandals. Might get 10 or $15 for these. Okay, last pair. looks like we have a pair of boots. They are lace up. What is the brand? The brand is Patricia Nash. It's gonna be hard to capture the label on the inside, but here it is engraved on the outside. The boots in general are in good condition. It's just the heel. Uh, the heel is a little beat up, but the rest of the shoe looks pretty good. This brand rings a bell, but I couldn't tell you anything about it. Um, it just kind of sounds familiar. These do feel really nice though. So it might be something special. Um, there's some wear on the toe that I see now, but I will research this brand because again, it sounds familiar and they feel pretty nice. I just know absolutely nothing about it. Okay, we are at the end. Um, as I looked at my pile of shoes, I'm pretty happy with this box. This might actually be one of the better ones that I've gotten. I have five pairs of shoes that I know will make me some good money. Um, I have them right here. So first it's these Aless 
Elise whatever sneakers. Might not make me big money, but I do think that these will sell pretty easily. These Blondo boots should sell really well. Um, this is a brand that I'm always on the lookout for when I'm at thrift stores. And knowing that it has a good resale value makes me confident that I will get a good profit for these. Although I don't know a lot about rag and bone shoes, I am very confident that these will make me a good profit. Um, they probably retail for a good amount of money and they're in excellent condition. So like I said, I don't know a lot about selling their shoes, but regardless, I think that they will make me a decent profit. These ASICs are also in excellent condition and I think that I could get around $40 for these because like I said, when I unbox these shoes, people are oftentimes willing to pay up for a pair of tennis shoes because they know that they're gonna be wearing them a lot. And finally, we have the Fry boots. Like I said earlier, I have always wanted to find a pair of Fry boots in a threaded box. This is my first time. And although they have a couple of scratches and are a little misshapen, I do think that I will get a really good profit for these. So we are at the end of the video. Let me know in the comments what you think about my unboxing. I do have a whole playlist of thread up shoe unboxings if you want to go check them out and kind of compare and contrast these boxes. Overall, I think this was an awesome box and I will make some good money for it. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next video.